morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you may be at this moment in time. I'm here to present in BIOS, Innovative Immunocode Oncology to you. My name is Peter Llewellyn Davies. I'm CEO, CFO of this company, and it's a pleasure to present the company and the projects to you. As you can see from the background, we are based in Vienna, Austria, and we have wonderful weather today as in the picture. So let's start the presentation. So in BIOS, leading the way in cancer therapies has basically three distinctive pillars. And these were founded by Apiron Biologics about 20 years ago and been developed over the last few years to where we are today. We have a cell therapy platform focusing on solid cancers. This is targeting intracellular checkpoint inhibitors and therefore fighting a variety of solid cancers and tumors. We have a small molecule immunology project which has a highly specific oral route of administration and the acumen of 20 years of development in immune oncology of apparent biologics is concentrated in our company. All employees have moved to BIOS and with an experienced team in all areas from clinical CMC to finance. And this operational excellence is used to create a business model for innovation and therefore we in license projects ourselves. So our platform process, which is the basis of our whole immune oncology program, is called in such a way that we have a six hour outpatient setting, needle to needle time. This is exceptional because patients come into the, the clinic, they have their immune cells targeted and activated and they get the drug product back. They can go home at night, come the next morning, continue the treatment. And because it's specific and transient, and using the patient's own most recent immune cells, it's a very exciting project. It's applicable to a variety of solid tumors, not just liquid cancers, and it's shown to be safe and well tolerated. The two projects we're working on at the moment on this platform technology are in various types of indications, as I'll show you later. The pipeline itself. The pipeline itself is in various early to mid stages of clinical development. So, as I mentioned earlier on, we have two projects focusing on the checkpoint inhibitor, Civil B. And Civil B, I'll come to in a second and explain what that is. We have an autologous cell therapy. What we do here, we target Civil B and we use a highly specific activation of tumor reactive blood cells. We've already completed a phase one trial here showing safety and tolerability. And I've just started a phase one trial and the treating patients as we speak. IND441, an adoptive cell therapy here. In this case, we activate tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. We activate these in solid tumors, therefore an activation of local tumor associated tumor cells or immune cells in this case. And we have another project, a novel IO target, a new project target with oral application and this is where we specifically the tumor specific immune activation for this project in early stage development. So let me start with APN401, which is tumor reactive autologous cell therapy targeting civil B. So let me explain to you in a little bit what is civil B. Civil B is basically a master immune checkpoint. It's an E3 ligase and a negative regulator of T cell activation and T cell tolerance. And it's located intracellular and interacts with several common known immune signal feed pathways, as you can see from the slide. We silence civil B with siRNA, which is our mRNA effectively, and therefore transiently knock down the civil B protein. What does this mean? You can see on the right that knocking down civil B activates both the innate and the adaptive immune system. Civil B deficiency leads to tumor destruction. And through modulation of civil B, we can effectively fight tumors. We've shown this in various clinical trials. So let me explain to you what the clinical trials that we've had so far. We started in a few years ago and completed a phase one investigator initiated trial in the US at Wake Forest University. The results were very good safety and tolerability. The infusions were well in a single and multiple dosing. There were no serious side effects. And in this first in human use trial, as a basket study, treating colorectal 
rectal, renal, and pancreatic tumors in 27 patients. We could show excellent safety and tolerability. We showed anti-tumor efficacy and immunological responses, 30% disease stabilization, 416 for a single dose and three of 11 multiple dose. So from a clinical perspective, a very encouraging result. From an immunological perspective, we also followed up with an analysis of the peripheral blood system of the patients. With this showed that after single treatment, up to six months higher, immune cell activation was registered. Effectively, prolonged T cell activation versus pre-dosing. In the six month time, it was a, the common tumor antigens were improved. Indeed, it also in this case, enhanced anti-tumor pro-inflammatory cytokine secretion and exciting and promising data. And based on this, we spent the last few years improving the process. The process of treating patients in a comfortable and outpatient setting. So what happens? Basically, we take the blood cells through leukopheresis, we separate the PBMCs and isolate them, and then targeting mRNA with CERNA, activate the immune cells ex vivo. The following drug product is then re-entered into the patient in the form of a treatment. It's an autologous, but also a very simple process. It's bedside, meaning every, cl every clinic has the possibility of using this. We don't need central locations for manufacturing. This is local manufacturing, and it has a lasting reactivation of anti-tumor immune cells. The memory effect has shown that the original of the immune cells from cycle to cycle, we've shown every three weeks, meaning that we have multiple treatment cycles. And because it's an outpatient setting within 24 hours, the patient can come in, go home, have a sleep, and then come back again. And therefore, with this transit modulation, we've shown a very effective approach. Our current ongoing clinical trial, APN 401103, is a 1B trial. So what, what, what have we done? We've certif certified the manufacturing process GMP, which means also from this point of view, an easy to use system. This is phase 1B has two parts. Phase firstly of part A, which is a multiple ascending dose with various solid tumors. And part B is an extension phase in three indications, colorectal cancer, head and neck cancer, and lung cell cancer, uh, whether it's non-small cell or small cell, which is yet to be seen. The endpoints are safety, tolerability, clinical efficacy, and a broad biomarker setup. So the recruitment for the part one is currently ongoing. We hope to complete this part by the end of this quarter, sorry, by the end of the second quarter of 2022. And we have one manufacturing, one clinical site, additional manufacturing sites are being prepared. So from this point of view, all these things are moving along very excitingly. Coming to the next slide and the next project in this platform. Sorry. Back, back, back slide, please. Slide back. Slide back. Back. One more. Back. Back, back. This is going forward. Sorry, we have a bit of a technical problem. Keep going back, please, to slide to slide 12. Apologies for that. So um, moving back to the platform, this is a new approach with the same platform. So we don't focus in this case on PBMCs, but we focus on tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, which are with a very specific treatment. What do we do here? We have an adoptive cell therapy, in this case with glioblastoma and other cancers. It's in discovery stage. And what we have here usually is glioblastoma, usually involves surgery, after which chemotherapy and radiation therapy is used. The existing process for cancer patients is very complicated and dangerous. With this process, we can revolutionize treatment methods. And as I mentioned, first of all, we isolate the tills from the tumor tissue or brain fluid, and then second, we use our platform technology, we knock down civil B, ex vivo, and then we infuse the civil B silent tills directly to the tumor site. We repeat this process every few weeks. This could lead to tumor destruction as the tills are reactivated 
by changing the suppressive manure at the tumor site. And our plans are to enter the clinic in the next 18 months with this project. So moving on to IMB 501, the oral application for tumor-specific immune activation. This is based on years of experience based on small molecules and tumor development. So we've shown that with a phenotypic screening, we have a systematic analyzed 80,000 compounds and show a readout of immune activation in this case. We've shown INV501 as a lead candidate of four substance classes which we developed. This is highly effective in an oral application. Our plan is to start a clinical study within the 18 months, and we have some really impressive data which I'd like to share with you. First of all, let's look at the orange line in the B16 melanoma mouse model. The compound was administered every second day orally. We've shown with the orange line on the left-hand side, significant growth reduction and the middle graph of eight out of 10 mice with no tumor. On the right, the compound tissue distribution has also shown that the bioavailability also in the lymph nodes is very high and therefore also no signs of to toxicity. There's an evidence of enforced tumor-specific immunity and also growth inhibition shown through this particular clinical trial. The next slide, compound potency is also shown after 48 hours of dose response. The EC50 value are very good for small molecule values and the real-time tumor cell killing assay shows dependency of the compound. We've shown high potency and low toxicity. We're currently in the lead to candidate phase and the target identification is ongoing. The validation will then lead to clinical development. So let me summarize with the investment opportunity. So the upcoming use flow from our side is in 2022, as mentioned, we're planning to complete the dose escalation study and have first proof of clinical efficacy at the early part of next year. This following indication finding study will take place next year and therefore start in phase two in 2024. The 441, the second process in the platform technology uh, targeting TILS, the ongoing process feasibility study is, is happening, and we hope for preclinical approval principle in 23 with an IND labeling early next year. 501, the small molecule, ongoing target identification, and the designated candidates are expected in 2022. The IND labeling also next year with the start in the phase two. The CMC process development is one of the most important areas we're working on, and this is what we're focusing on as well. Our innovation hub will have new insourcing of innovative projects ongoing, and therefore we hope by the end of this year to have the first project in license and preclinical activities taking place. Our funding at the moment is covered until early 2023. By that time, we hope that we have achieved a Series A, or let's call it Series B financing, um, by then, currently in BIOS is financed from Pyre and Biologics, but during the course of a company split taking part this year, the deep merger will lead to a separate company and therefore the financing will have to take place this year to enable us to complete further development in 2023. Our goal is to create a crossover round towards the end of next year and pre-IPO financing with the right investors at the end of 2023. So to wrap up the presentation, firstly, we have an innovative immune oncology focus operational base. The projects are unencumbered, oncology focused. Our cell therapy platform, autologous with a very short needle to needle time, a proven GMP setting, outpatient, we use current and fresh immune cells of the patient. It's validated, it's safe and an optimized process. And for the immune reactive small molecule protein, it's already available and also very high specificity and potency. Our team is very purpose driven with high acumen and we look forward to continuing any discussions we may have in the future. Thank you for listening and watching. Looking forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.